Hey guys, welcome back on board this Phenom. We're taking it to its annual maintenance in Bremen, Germany. Currently sat here in Oxford. We're going to take off to the north and uh, then do a right turn towards the east and that'll take us across the channel. We failed at flight level 390, but fingers crossed if we can get a little bit higher, maybe up to flight level 450, we'll take it. And it should be about an hour and 10 minute flight in total. So enjoy. Right, we have start clearance. All the pre-start checks have been complete. So we're clear on the left hand side and clear back and right. So we're going to start engine number two first. So we're no marshaller. So to run initially, yep. on the start watch and start. So M2 spawning up, ignition A. And light up. Uh, all pressure's picking up, and one's spalling up. And batch bolts are still looking good. Alright, start cycle has finished. Self-sustaining. And the pressure's all look good. So we've just got a small period of time until we... Uh, two minutes, so we can reset the stopwatch until we can start number one. Stall, stall. Stall, stall. Stall, stall. Stall, stall. And that checks flap set at one. Uh, there you go, our two minutes is up, so uh, we can start the number one engine. So, still clear on the right, still clear on the left, so it'll be an assisted start. So, I want to run initially and start now. So, number two is falling up before we get to 72% M2. And start the stopwatch there. So, M2, ignition A. And light up. All pressure's rising. And voltage still good. Go Charlie, orbit left until advised. Orbit left until advised, Charlie. There you go, start cycle complete, self-sustaining, and engine number two is falling down. Ah, so just the after start check, so GPU, we didn't use electrical emergency go button. Go there you go. So having a look at this screen here, we've got three rights, and the voltage is about 23.5. The cycle then come back out, and the greens reappear. Still warning test we've done, test panel is confirmed off OCS control unit. We haven't got departure clearance, so we're just in roll and take off at the moment. Uh, engine takeoff data has been set 11 degrees. LFE is uh, green for Bremen at 14 feet. Takeoff speed has been set and checked. 105 for V1 and rotates, 118 for V2, and uh, 126 for VFS. Transponder, we don't have a code yet, so we're just on IFR at 2000. Altimeter is 1028, he confirmed on start. Flight controls have been checked. Trim set at 10.2 for departure. Flap set at 1 and confirmed. External lights, we're just on NAVS in the moment, and ice protection as required. So next checklist will be before takeoff. So it will be a left turn out of MA4 and taxi down Alpha for uh, runway 01. Uh, Golf X Uniform Yankee Kilo MA4 request taxi. Golf Yankee Kilo report out, Mike. Report out, Mike. Golf Yankee Kilo. Uh, Taxi light goes on. One, two, Solitation over to the right, but we are clear. And one, two, nothing to the left. Alright, so brakes are checked. I'll just start the left turn there. Uh, Golf Yankee Kilo approaching Mike. Golf Yankee Kilo taxi, holding point Alpha 1, runway 01 via Alpha. Alpha 1, runway 01 via Alpha, Golf Yankee Kilo. Alright, take off. Take off, yeah. OK. So, take off config has been checked. Cars messages were all clear. Signs and outlets on to Belson on. Your damper is confirmed off, transponder will set up at the hold, passengers are non-existent and lights will be on lineup. Next checklist will be after takeoffs. Golf Yankee Kilo, got your after departure instructions. Ready to copy, Golf Yankee Kilo. 
Golf Center Uniform Yankee Kilo hold at Alpha 1. After departure, left turn heading 360 degrees. Climb to altitude 2,500 feet. Squawk 7536. One off one after departure, left turn 360 degrees, climbing altitude 2500 feet and squawking 7536 and uh, we're ready, Golf Yankee Kilo. Golf Yankee Kilo correct and Roger. Golf Yankee Kilo, length of weight runway 01. Line for weight 01, Golf Yankee Kilo. Uh, Stream lights on, nothing on TCAS, nothing out to the left. Good morning, two Delta Oscar Golf Zulu on the main GA apron with Oscar 1028. Uh, request start and taxi for VFR local flight. Two days at Oscar Gold Zulu Oscar Terra, stand by. Uh, a bit of a winch on the right. Yeah, and runway's there at one. Golf Golf Charlie on passing 1,000 feet. Uh, you make a right turn into the circuit, early right turn. Early right turn, Golf Golf Charlie. Two Delta Oscar Golf Zulu Oscar. Look at our takeoff path, looks Oscar fairly clear of traffic, which is always a bit good. Start approved. Start approved, you love Golf Yankee Kilo Runway 0 1, wind 0 6, 0 degrees, 1 3 knots, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff 0 1, Golf Yankee Kilo. Alright, all is good inside, all happy. So stable. And for us, that's ATR Green. Eight knots checks. V1 at rotate. Lots of rate, gear up, and fly level change. So a few bumps at the moment. 600 feet, so the pilot goes on. Thousand feet, flap set zero. TCAS fail, we'll ignore. Nice control in the speed there, 1000 to go. And acceleration. Right, left turn, heading north. Yankee Kilo contact radar 125, death 4090, bye bye. 25, 090, good day, Yankee Kilo. All right, speed, we'll get to 220, we'll just hold it there, levelling. Oxford Radar, good morning, Golf 15 from Yankee Kilo, levelling 2,500 feet, heading north. Golf 15 from Yankee Kilo, Oxford Radar, good morning, identified traffic service, climb to altitude 5,000 feet. Traffic service, climb altitude 5,000 feet, Golf Yankee Kilo. All right, 5,000 sets, vertical speed. Let's get climbing. Coffee, Romeo, Roger, fixing circuit, active. Uh, good again, it's a bit of clouds, so engine anti-ice, one or two both go on. Passing by the airhead, not below 2,000 feet, stop me, Romeo. Golf Yankee Kilo, resume navigation direct to Azura. Navigation Azura, Golf Yankee Kilo. Golf Yankee Kilo, if I'm hinting ahead, you're certified actual parachute drop-in, so your routing is Azura, then Daventry. Okay, Azura, Daventry, Golf Fixing from Yankee Kilo. Thank you. I firm you got traffic that's north of you. Good. Eight miles for the moment. Tracking east, indicating 2,500 feet. Approximate seven eight. From an outside controlled airspace. Contact London for your join. Frequency one two one. Decimal zero three zero. Bye bye. Okay. All copied. One two one zero three zero. Good day. Got fixed. You're from Yankee Kilo. Okay. So that's a few hundred feet to go. 250 knots. Just controlling the speed there. One two one zero three zero for London. London. Good morning. Got fixed. You're from Yankee Kilo. Climbing 5,000 feet. Exora. Golf Victor, Uniform Yankee Kilo, London, good morning, Squawker and Basic Service. I don't know how Basic Service, Golf Yankee Kilo. Alright, 5,000, I'm clear. Clear down to control their space on track, X0, climbing flight level 1 at 1 at 0. Clear down to control their space on track, X0, climbing flight level 1 at 1 0, Golf Victor, Uniform Yankee Kilo. Channel 232, decent flight level 1. Okay, standard set, signs 2, 4.6, checks. Level 1, 5, 0, level 1, 5, 0, level 1, 5, 0, level 1, Flight level 110 is set, vertical speed 4000. EC35 for X ray descent, flight level 170. So the TCAS has level failed, it's no fault with this aircraft, that's going to get sorted out, and it's annual maintenance which we're going to. Absolute rocket ship today, Delta so. Delta 3, turn left, heading 130 degrees. Left 130, Delta 3. 4000 feet a minute. I'm just hovering around 250 knots, that's Exora turning out to Daventry. 
Right, let's get some checks out the way. So, aircraft checklist. Landing gear is up, flaps confirmed at zero. Thrust levers are at a climb setting. Altimeters, we are at 7.6, climbing flight level 110. Your damp is confirmed on, and the rest above the line, which we'll do shortly. I turn to Aventure. Golf Yankee Kilo, Santa Control, there's face radar control, service. Radar control, Golf Yankee Kilo. Yankee Kilo, climb flight level 130. Climb flight level 130, Golf 18 from Yankee Kilo. 130 set, vertical Yankee speed. Navigation, one, let's see. Passing flight level 100, so if he's on, off on for the belts, windshields 1 and 2. And he like, come off. That's above the line complete, climbing flight level 130. Alright, Altes, 1 to go. Right, three, you need a, a specific speed, yep. Top 3, if you can make the speed 250, not for less then. Okay, speed 250 or less, delta 3. And we'll just continue the acceleration all the way up to about 320 knots. Golf Yankee Kilo, contact and London Control on 130, that's 1925, goodbye. 130, 925, goodbye, Golf Yankee Kilo from Yankee Kilo. London, good morning, Golf Yankee from Yankee Kilo, flight level 130, Davantry. Golf Yankee Kilo, thank you, flight heading 040 degrees, climb flight level 160. 040 degrees and climb flight level 160. Golf fix you from Yankee Kilo. Uh, 040 on the heading. Heading is now green. 160 is selected. And vertical speed. Let's go going up again. Climb flight level 190. Climb flight level 190. Logan 5 to Lima. And Logan 5 to Lima. Report heading to London. 127 decimal 105. 27 decimal 105 at the heading. Logan 5 to Lima. Uh, back into manual speeds. Well, let's go no slower than 250 for this climb. Fingers crossed we can carry on going up. Golf Yankee Kilo, climb flight level 170. Climb flight level 170, Golf Yankee Kilo. She is an absolute weapon today, so we've only got 1.3 tons worth of fuel on board. And speed's coming back slowly, but we're getting about 4,000 feet a minute, which, which is the max you'll ever get on vertical speed on this aircraft. Right, RTS in, back on to FMS speeds. Human navigation, direct Banto, climb flight level 180. Uh, Banto and uh, climb flight level 180, Golf Fix Uniform Yankee Kilo. Right, Banto, direct, we have and nav, flight level 180, he's third, vertical speed. I'll just creep up that last bit. Heading 6. On to go. Out ass. Golf Yankee Kilo, climb flight level 190. Climb flight level 190, Golf Yankee Kilo. Golf Yankee Kilo, there's traffic a south of it, looking to the level right to left. Copy, Yankee Kilo. Golf Yankee Kilo, climb flight level 200. Climb flight level 200, Golf Yankee Kilo. Uh, 200 sets, confirmed, vertical speed. Yeah, so to give you a snapshot of this jet, we only got a thousand foot change, there's no more, there's no point to going more than 2,000 feet a minute upwards. But it's still accelerating at about 307 knots. Golf Yankee Kilo, climb flight level 210. Climb flight level 210, Golf Yankee Kilo. Uh, 210, vertical speed again, 2000, climb out there, uh, one to go, checks. It's uh, kind of difficult coming out of London because you don't, uh, you never really get a continued climb, it's just constant step after step. Jackie Kilo, contact London 133, decimal 940. Okay, London 33, 940, g'day, Jackie Kilo. London, good morning, Golf Fix you from Yankee Kilo, climbing flight level 210, Banto. Golf Victor Uniform, Yankee Kilo, good morning, climb flight level 290. Climb flight level 290, Golf Fix Uniform, Yankee Kilo. Alright, uh, 290, Message ATC. That's the data link kicking in. Vertical speed, 290 is set. At least two there, right? Current unit, London. 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 Good morning, climb flight level 330. I'm 
So you can see some of the traffic we're following, but he's only 25 miles ahead, so we should get a further climb shortly. One up behind him. Golf Yankee Kilo, confirm request level. Uh, flight level 450, we can get it, Golf Yankee Kilo. Golf Yankee Kilo, what's your climb, flight level 450? Climb level 450, thank you, Golf Yankee Kilo. There you go, Bonza, all the way up. There you go, still pretty good going. We're still uh, coming back towards our uh, target climb speed on Mach 0.64, but we're doing 3,100 feet in the process. The performance on this is uh, just completely unreal. So with this jet, it's a bit strange. Uh, one thing that we do is we actually climb using vertical speed mode. Um, it has got a flight level change, so it will target an airspeed or a Mach number. But the algorithm on this is not set up very well. And what tends to happen is it will re-engage it and you're above the Mach number. It will pitch your nose up too much and then it will go below it and you get this sort of weird oscillation during the climb. So uh, use flight level change just for this initial takeoff to give us some command bars. Uh, then after that we just use vertical speed the whole way up. Heading 275 Virgin Alright, as you can tell, uh, the camera's angle's changed a little bit, but poor little GoPro Max is uh, overheated. But uh, we're just leveling off at flight level 450, so the maximum altitude this jet can go. And um, since we're nice and light, we've had a pretty good climb. Our last uh, sort of stage of the climb is still 1,000 feet per minute. So we're going to accelerate to Mach point, uh, the FMS is saying Mach point 77, uh, we'll probably end up getting that, so Mach point 78, and uh, put it back into cruise. So uh, have a look at the timer, 23 minutes to get from Oxford, which is uh, 200 feet, up to flight level 450, which is pretty awesome, and we've done it just before coasting out on the uh, United Kingdom. So, as the aircraft accelerates, uh, I'm just going to knock the cameras off and uh, have 10-15 uh, minutes to chill, and uh, then I'll turn, turn the cameras Message back on. Message A T C. There you go. Just as this come up, it's got the uh, CPDLC on this aircraft, so contact Maastricht. So uh, what's that? Thirty-two eight zero eight five. I just respond for that. Maastricht, good morning. Golf fix uniform Yankee Kilo, flight level four five zero. How about that? Golf 15 from Yankee Kilo, hello identified, and uh, turn left 10 degrees. Left 10 degrees, heading Message 0 80. Golf 15 from Yankee Kilo. Uh, 080, and heading, heading Red green. Right Still accelerating. So that's the CPDLC, which uh, we've got uh, over this side of the pond, which works uh, pretty well, actually. So I'm going to lock all the cameras off, have uh, 10 15 minutes to relax, prepare for the approach, and then I'll flick it back on, and you guys can join me. So, uh, yeah. see you in a bit. Hi right, guys, welcome back. We've got about uh, 130 miles to run to uh, Bremen. Just picked up their weather. Uh, we have information Papa, runway 27, so the westerly runway in use. Uh, 3208 knots, a little bit variable, but a crosswind from the right. And uh, cab OK with QNH 1025, which has been on the pre select. So all we're going to do is. Traffic, take... traffic. OK. So that's traffic, seven miles, 400 feet below. Let's just increase our rate of descent a little bit. We've got told minimum of 1,700 feet, but let's be a bit more proactive with that. Not particularly in the mood for an RA today. Golf Yankee, Kilo, continue descent, flight level 250, 1,000 feet per minute or greater. 250, 1,000 feet per minute or greater, Golf Yankee, Kilo. Uh, so we're well clear of him now. And Golf Yankee Kilo, resume own navigation, direct Bravo Mike November. The navigation, Bremen, uh, Golf Yankee Kilo. Uh, direct to Bremen, nav. That's more or less on the nose anyway. Oh, I'll just shell off our rated sense a little bit. Because we have got uh, pulled down a little bit lower. Now, climb level 310, we're requesting 3 One thousand or greater, as you requested. So uh, we're going to take the RLS Zulu into uh, into Bradham, which will basically take us east of the airfield and then uh, shot down a uh, three degree glide onto uh, runway 27 itself. So uh, it's good to expect radar vectors as well as per the ATIS. And uh, that's about it. It's uh, cover OK. Should be, uh, should be a fairly nice approach.
So we've got about 15 minutes at flight level 450. We did get quite an early descent, so would have liked, uh, you know, the sort of five minutes at 45 to get that true sort of... Uh, oh, Yankee Kilo, radio descent 1,500 feet per minute or greater. 1,500 feet per minute or greater, go Yankee Kilo. Can only 1,500 or greater set on the vertical speed. Alright, so finish off the descent checks anyway. The windshield heating uh, switches are confirmed. On pressurisation, LFE Green Bremen, 14 feet, landing speed set and checks. Uh, we have AV RF 106, approach climb 106, and uh, I've set the approach at 160 into 10 above and final segment at uh, 123. And uh, belts off the uh, times. Next one will be the approach checklist as we uh, get closer. So the one interesting thing about this RLS is it's not co-located the DME with the RLS frequency. So uh, if you have a look at the plate, we just get the plate up for you guys here. see there's two different lots of DMEs on it, one from the uh, Bremen VOR and uh, one from the other source of uh, Pacific DME frequency. So uh, we've just held the VOR 13.65, uh, the uh, Bravo uh, Remember Delta. That's the answer to that, so just got to keep an eye that the DMEs aren't true to the threshold. Message A T C. Contact Bremen, uh, 124.8, we'll go. Bremen, good uh, afternoon, Golf XC from Yankee Kilo, descending 250, Bremen. Golf Victor Uniform Yankee Kilo, Bremen Radar identified low, check Quebec, call you back for descent. Copy, Golf Yankee Kilo. Victor, Uniform Yankee Kilo, descent flight level 100, expect the Isla Zulu, runway 27. Descent flight level 100, expecting Isla Zulu, runway 27. Golf Yankee Kilo. Golf Yankee Kilo, proceed in my Delta, whiskey 510. Golf Yankee Kilo, whiskey 510, Golf Yankee Kilo, from Yankee Kilo. Uh, I've got to dial into a box to find that. There you go, so it's on there, Delta Whiskey 510. That speed's still good. Right turn, so that's basically that's taking us to the south of the field. Yeah, so having a look at the screen here, Delta Whiskey 510 basically takes us on the downward left hand pass and for the uh, RLS runway 27. Delta Whiskey 510. Working our descent. 510, they've got a little five miles onwards from there, so let's say we want to be uh, uh, 4,000 feet there, so six, 6,000 feet or so, maybe at 510, gives us enough time to de accelerate. Especially we might end up cutting the corner, so 6,000 feet there, and create. Hotel Zulu Mike, you are now entering airspace Delta and are able to turn right by 10 degrees for the Delta crossing to stack you off three minutes. Vertical more. track. Right, ah, that's vertical track right. come in. Put me now there in three degrees. Correct. We appreciate it. Leaving flight level 200 for flight level 100. And from the 20 Papa Kilo, there's uh, VFA traffic in your 12 o'clock position, distance about uh, 4 miles. Ah, right, VFA Magenta. 4,300 feet slow moving. Ah, uh, just throttling back. Victor, Uniform Yankee Kilo, descent flight level 9 or 0. So flight level 9 or 0, Golf 15 Yankee Kilo. 9 0 set. Alright, ghost needles appeared. Lock 266, which checks with the plane. Alright, commit to 12,000 feet, so we're going to slowly start de accelerating aircraft back to uh, 250 knots. To confirm, sorry, Hotel Power Juliet crossing from right to left, of course. Golf Victor, Uniform Yankee Kilo, Alpha, VFA traffic, in your 11, 10 to 11 o'clock position, distance 5 miles, crossing left to right, level 7 five, slow moving. Copy, Golf Victor, Uniform Yankee Kilo. Golf Yankee Kilo on his present track, he will pass about uh, 3 miles behind you, so descend, altitude 3000 feet, QNH 1025. Copy, descend 3000 feet, QNH 1025, Golf Victor, Uniform Yankee Kilo. Uh, 3,000 feet set, Q&H 1025 set. Roger, contact tower, 120, 330. Checklist, 
Right. So external lights are as required. Passengers uh, not existent. Crossfeed is confirmed off. Fuel is uh, nicely balanced. Our temperature is 1225. We've just checked and uh, windshield 12 just knocked off a little bit earlier. So next check. 60 kilo dimension VF traffic. Now left wing distance two miles. Level 76. Copy, go for Tina from Yankee Kira. Good day, Bravo Juliet. Mention traffic coming up 12 o'clock, position distance uh, 2.8 miles. Alright, 2.5 miles, miles, 600 feet below. Delta Echo Alpha Lima Solo, dropping approved, report last jump out. So we are going to go past about the looks of it, I don't think got a chance of seeing him. Uh, I can start being the speed back to 2.20. No traffic there, someone else on the ALS. Delta Lima Solo, Roger, climb level 130, entering Charlie approved, report ready next. So I think he's going to turn us in a little bit earlier, just looking at the traffic, so just taking V and that valve, just increase the rate of descent normally on uh, normal vertical speed. I'll start being the speed back to 200 knots. Golf Yankee Kilo, turn left, heading 360. Left heading 360, Golf Yankee Kilo. Okay, 360, heading green. Slightly shallow, that rate of descent a little bit. And uh, that's activate vectors to find all green needles. Lock one seat on my side. And speed coming back to 180 knots. Alright. Glide path seam. Just shelling that rate of descent off just to try and get a constant glide. So 180 knots, we're looking for about 1,000 feet per minute on a uh, 3 degree glide, roughly speaking. Victor Uniform Yankee Kilo, turn left heading 300, clear dial to Sulu 27, report established on the localizer. Left heading 300 and uh, report established, Golf 15 from Yankee Kilo. Uh, so we've got just about a mile to the uh, localizer. Okay, localizer's coming in. Block with GS. And speed going back to 170. Contact uniform Yankee Kilo, uh, localizer established. Perfect, uniform Yankee Kilo, watch our contact tower 120 330, goodbye. 20330, good day, uh, contact uniform Yankee Kilo. Okay, GSC. 10 miles for the better vehicle. So, uh, good afternoon, Golf 15 from Yankee Kilo, RLS runway uh, established, runway 27. Golf 15 from Yankee Kilo, tower low, wind 330 degrees, 11 knots, runway 27, clear land. So, it's land runway 27, Golf 15 from Yankee Kilo. Alright, right, 3,000 step for the missed approach. It's going to let the speaker a little bit more stable, a little bit closer in before we start selecting flaps. Targeting 160. It's just not slowing down so much, so uh, quick wiggle and speed brakes. Slippy jet today, and since it's nice and light, right, speed stable, flat one selected. Alright, so minusing a mile off the DME for the true DME for the threshold, so gear starts to come down. And speed checks, flat two. And four flaps selected, landing checklist, your damp will come off the autopilot, landing gear is down with three, flaps are just waiting to transit. Four we have, and our speed is coming up to the approach. Uh, a bit of wind from the right. Autopilot out. Uh, 
Autopilot. Alright, we're all looking good. So, lucky to vacate Charlie, first, second, third, fourth on the right. Landing disagree, we'll disregard. Right, 500 feet, VMC stable. A few thermals over the factories there. 500. Ah, bring the speed back to VBF. Four hundred. Three hundred. Minimums, minimums, okay, two hundred. One hundred. Fifty feet there. And we're down. Borders green, brakes checked. And Charlie just on the right there. Yankee Kilo vacate here via Charlie, then via Golf, stand number 13. Charlie Golf, stand 13. Uh, Golf 18 from Yankee Kilo. Right, cleaning up. It's actually shows go off. Uh, we'll just quickly put the plates out. So, chart selection. Parking stands and coordinates. Right, so, Golf's on the left and then stand 13. It'll be a marshal air waiting for me, and that's landing at time 5 1. There you go, so that was a fun flight. Uh, 1 hour and 12 minutes in total. So 12, 12 Alpha, and stand 1 3 coming up on the right. Tax light goes off. And I'm going to start kicking it around now because this has a terrible turning circle. Alright, brakes up. Engine stable could both go off. So systems and let's get status page up on there. Checklist on the left. Right, after landing flaps, lights, transponders, we all did. So first leave is hard. All emergency parking brake is on. Windshields are both confirmed off. Probes on also. Engine CR switches are off, wing stab switches are off, and start stop knobs we've done, hydraulic pressure's dropping now, MFD status page has been checked, and signs like that's are off. So guys, hope you enjoyed that one, that was a bit of a fun flight, it's the last time I'm going to fly this aircraft for a few weeks as it's in for its annual maintenance, so uh, I'll see you when we fly back home, cheers.